It also remains to be seen if this verdict will ultimately help or hurt Trump in the polls. All right, Fox 5, Sharon Crowley joins us now in studio with a closer look at the political impact. And Sharon, Trump will definitely try to use this to his advantage, as we've already seen. Yeah, no question about that, Steve. Former President Trump insisting today he got a fundraising bump overnight following the verdict. The fact is, this remains a very close race for president, going by any poll that you look at. It's really too soon to know how Trump's conviction will impact the independent voters that he needs to win over in those critical battleground states. Thank you very much. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump, now a convicted felon, also remains the Republican frontrunner in a very tight race for the White House. This is clearly a very big development that won't change base votes in either camp, but may well affect people in the middle. Political analyst David Birdsell says while Trump's conviction may invigorate his most loyal supporters, Trump does need to expand his base to win. How damaging will this be among independent voters, uh, Republican-leaning independents included, uh, as well as people who may just choose not to vote at all? Trump's sentencing in his criminal hush money case comes in July, just a few days before the Republican National Convention, when it's expected he will officially become the Republican nominee. So far, many Republican lawmakers are standing by him. New York Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis echoing the sentiments of Trump loyalists on Good Day New York this morning. There is no crime. There is no evidence. I, I, would, I would love to talk to any of these jurors to actually point to what evidence are they saying it shows that President Trump was guilty of a crime. Nonetheless, 34 counts. This is a sad day for this country. President Biden will face off with Trump in the first debate in June. It seems to me the Biden campaign is well advised to stay away from this and to let others make the case that you don't want a convicted felon to be president of the United States. One of those surrogates is New York Democrat Congressman Dan Goldman. The American people have a very clear choice in November. Do you want a convicted felon who has determined and committed to undermining our democracy, to eliminating the rule of law, to changing the fabric of this country? Or do you want someone who has been a leader on the world stage? So the next big political test coming in June, as we said, when President Biden and former President Trump have their first debate of this election cycle, voters will get their first chance to judge the candidates during that format in this campaign. Bianca? All right, thank you so much.